Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing about a question which was asked to one of my subscriber in the interviews on ACLs. And this is a very interesting use case. And if you understand the concepts of ACL, this is pretty straightforward. And I thought of making a video on this because it will help many people because this is a very important question during the interviews for a service now developer. My name is Hardit Singh and if you are liking my content, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. So this is the question which was asked on my YouTube channel and I have broken it down on my PPT in a simpler way. So the interviewer gave a scenario that you will have a custom table with six custom columns. Okay, so these are for example, those six custom columns on that custom table column a underscore one underscore two and then column b underscore one b underscore two and then column c underscore one and c underscore two i will explain you why i named these columns like this in a second then we will have three custom roles so role a role b and role c and now we will have three users so the interviewer asked that person Instead of users, it was groups, but I'm taking users just for making things simpler and explaining the concept. Now we will have three users called user A, user B and user C. And each user should have read access to only two columns in a table. What that means is if user A has role A, he should be able to access only column A underscore one and column A underscore two. He should be only be able to view these two columns and not the other columns. In this case, column B underscore one, B underscore two, C underscore one and C underscore two. Similarly, user B having role B would be able to access only column B underscore one and B underscore two and he won't be able to access A underscore one, A underscore two and C underscore one and C underscore two. I hope that is clear. The use case is clear and how we will be building it in service. Now I will explain you the logic. So these are the steps to implement. We will create a custom table called demo table and then we will be creating those six columns which I explained you in this slide. And after that we will be creating three custom roles role A, role B and role C. And then we will be creating three users called user A, user B and user C which are mentioned here and then we will be assigning those three users the table role. So if you need access to a custom table, you will have to give the table role to each one of them and then we will give each user respective row level role. What that means is we will give user a role a user B role B and user C role C. And then finally we will be creating six read ACLs for each column and assign respective roles. What that means is we will create an ACL for column A and we will give read access only to role A so that only user A should be able to access that. Similarly for column A underscore two, we will create a new ACL and we will have role A under that and, and then user A would be able to access column A underscore one and A underscore two. We will repeat creation of ACLs for B underscore one, B underscore two, C underscore one and C underscore two. And after that, we will try to log in with each of these users and see if they are able to only access those two columns which they are supposed to. Now let's go to service now and start creating this use case. I'm now in my service now instance. I will go to all and I will create a table for that. I will type tables in the application navigation bar and under system definition I will click on tables and I will click on new. I will give the table name as demo table and I will not extend it from any other table because we don't need that and I will save this record or save this table and as soon as the table is created we will go ahead and create those six columns. I will click on new under columns and I will give the type of all those fields as string just to make things easier and I will give column a underscore one and give the length as 100 and save this. Let's go back to the table record and see if the column has been created successfully or not. And if you see here column a underscore one has been created successfully. We will repeat this for five more times to create other columns. 
so column a underscore 200 and submit and after that i will again click on new i'll give the type as string column b underscore one again i will submit this record and for column b underscore two i will again give it a string b underscore two and submit this again i'll go to the demo table and i will create another field column c here so the column c underscore one submit and then we will create the last column which would be column c underscore two in the demo table so i will click on new again string column c underscore two and then 100 and finally i will submit this sixth column and we have created all the six columns here in the demo table if we can verify i'll just sort it with the column label and you would see column a1 a2 b1 b2 c1 and c2 all of these are string types now we will go ahead and create roles for that i will type roles here and under system security user and groups i have opened this roles i will click on new and i will create three new roles that would be role a and i will submit this then role b submit this and then finally role c and i will also submit this we will quickly verify if those are created successfully or not i'll just filter those so role a b and c have been created successfully now we have to create three users so i will go to sys underscore user dot list and i will create three new users and assign them their respective roles i will give the user id as user a first name as maybe user and last name as a i will save this and the most important thing here is to assign this user a a role a so i will click on roles i will click on edit and i will search for role a here so role a and i will move it on the right hand side and save this i will repeat this activity for other users so user b user last name b and i will save this i will click on edit and then role b so this role b will be assigned to user b if i scroll down you would be able to see role b is assigned to user b and now we will repeat this activity for user c as well which is the last user so user c and c here and i will save this if i scroll down i will give the role as role c here to user c so role c for user c has been given and saved i'll quickly verify this and this has been done now the most important part is to create six acls for those six columns one thing which i forgot is to give the table roles to these users as well so we will quickly go ahead and give those roles as well to this users so i will search for u underscore demo table user without this role they won't be able to access the table at all so we will have to give this role to all the users i will go to the list view maybe of the user table so i will type here sys underscore user underscore list dot do and i will search user and for user a and user b i will give that demo table role so edit u underscore demo assign this role here and for user b assign the table role again so u underscore demo table user so just for your information this demo table when we create right if i scroll down at the bottom you would see there are four acls automatically created for this table which have the operation as read write create and delete so we would want to give this role to these users so that they have the access to this table to read write create and delete then we will have to define six more acls for each column that on which particular column which user will have the access for that i will again go to all i will go to acl and under system security i will open acl and one important thing which you need to do before editing or inserting new acls is to 
elevate your roles so i will click on my username here i will click on elevate role i will click on security admin checkbox and i will update this so now my user would have the access to insert or update any acl i will click on new to create six new acls so we will create those one by one we will keep the type as record and then we will choose the operation as read so they should have only the read access on this particular column for that what i will do is i will choose the table name here u underscore demo data or demo table and then i will have to give the specific column name here so column a underscore one and which user should have access or which role should have access that is the role a so i will just type role a here save this and save this acl as well now we have created a new acl on column a underscore one and this column a underscore one would be accessible only by the users which will have role a now let's go and create similarly for all other five columns i will click on new i will choose read i will choose u underscore demo table and then column a2 and we will have role a for this as well so role a i will save this i will submit this i will continue then i will go ahead and create the third acl let's choose read then u underscore demo table and now we will choose column b underscore one and it should be available to only role b so submit continue now we will go ahead and create for column b underscore two i will click on read again search for the table column b underscore two it should be accessible only by role b so i will search for role b here save this save the acl and continue and then finally we will have two acls left for column c underscore one and c underscore two so i will choose demo table column c underscore one and then here we would choose role c so role c and submit continue and then the last one read and then u underscore demo table column c underscore two role c save this submit this and continue so now we have created six read acls which will give access to role a for a1 and a2 column b1 and b2 will be accessible only by role b and column c1 and c2 will be accessible only by role c now we will go ahead and quickly test this with each user so i will impersonate as user a first so i will impersonate user a and i will click on all and i will search for demo table click on this and you would be able to see even in the list view only column a1 and a2 are accessible to this user if i click on new you would see only these two columns are accessible if i go back to the list view and try to add other columns you wouldn't see column b1 column b2 column c1 or c2 let's go and impersonate other users as well so impersonate another user i will search for user b impersonate again click on all search for demo table now this user should have access only to b1 and b2 and you could see this this user has only access to column b1 and b2 and finally let's impersonate user c and if it's working properly or not so user c impersonate i will click on all then demo so demo tables and then c1 and c2 only these two columns are accessible to user c and b1 b2 or a1 a2 are not accessible to this user so this is a very interesting use case and very straightforward if you understand the concepts of acl the most important thing here was to give the roles to those specific users and then create those acls and one other important thing was to give the table roles as well 
so the ones which are created by default you have to assign those roles as well to these users so that they have access to the table and then we can put a guardrail using the role level ACLs. I hope this video was helpful to you. It was a very interesting use case. If you have any other use cases or any other interview questions which were asked to you and you were not able to answer or if you find those interesting, please let me know in the comments. I will go ahead and create those videos and we can share it with our whole community. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you for watching the video till the end.